Hi everyone, Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Consultants. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why you should work with the buying agent to make sure you get the best property that's for you. Now, if you like any of this content or want to know more about the London property market, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where we're going to be putting out weekly videos on the London property market and answering all your questions about buying, selling, renting, or managing property and the things you should think about. Now, getting into the specifics of working with the buying agent. Now, this is not something that many buyers do in the UK, simply because the market's not set up that way. Having come over from America, we're very used to both sides working with an agent. So the seller has an agent and the buyer has an agent. And that means you have licensed professionals who are really looking after you and working on your behalf. So just because the market's not as formal here in the UK, it doesn't mean that you need that service any less and they can't bring real value. So make sure that you think about that and consider working with the buying agent instead of going out on your own. Why? Because really you're buying the most expensive asset of your life. So who's really looking out on your behalf? You wouldn't think about representing yourself in court, would you, if you're not you know, trained as a lawyer. So why would you think about buying the most expensive asset of your life on your own? The seller has an agent looking out for them and their goal is to get the most amount of money for their seller, but who's really looking out for you? And beyond just money, when you go out looking for a property, how do you know you're actually seeing the best properties? How do you know that you're seeing everything that's going to meet your criteria? Say you're looking in an area such as, I don't know, Maida Vale. Do you, you've got specific criteria and a budget and what you think you're going to look for. But maybe based on where you work or um, considerations as far as driving out to Heathrow if you travel regularly, Maybe there might be other neighborhoods that make more sense, that have a look and feel of what you're looking for, and that are going to give you the best options. When I work with buyers, I really believe that I should start with what they have told me that they're looking for and making sure that we have a really good conversation and it's kind of a briefing, um, initial briefing a consultation to really help understand what they're looking for, but also why and what makes that important. If I can understand that, then that helps me give context because I can perhaps show them things that they might not have seen. Recently, I worked with the buyer who initially said, and he lived in Oxford, initially said he wanted to find a property more in Fulham and Chiswick because those were established neighborhoods and really he didn't want to be in a place that was ultra trendy and hip like East London where he lived in the past. But I knew that he was going to be often taking the train in to Paddington and Marleybone. And so with that, the neighborhood of Maida Vale made more sense. And so we were able to show him how that area might compare, give him that well-established, leafy, villagey feel and more, and then how, why it made more sense logistically. And ultimately, that's where we did end up finding him the property. And I think he's super thrilled and it's written me some a wonderful testimonial to say that. So that's one of the things I really want to make sure um, you understand that an agent can bring to you is not just taking your initial criteria, but making sure you see um, the whole of market that might suit. Um, when you're looking uh, as a buyer on your own, you're typically relying on the national portals like Right Move and Zoopla. But what if there might be properties that haven't come on the market yet that might be worth your while? Again, as an agent, we might know properties that have been withdrawn that are no longer available that a seller might still consider if they had a serious buyer. We also know that a lot of properties get sold in the off-market space, so they've never even come on the market. So you want to make sure you're working with an agent who might be able to show you all of what's available that might suit your criteria. One of the other things an agent can do is particularly when it's a couple is really making sure you're both on the same page as to what you're looking for and why. One of the things I talk about when working with buyers is to make sure that we have a list of three, four must-haves and that's the max. That's it. Why? Because London is about trade-offs and if you've got a list of 10 things that you have to have, we're never going to find you the right property and you're only going to get frustrated because your list is endless and really not 
realistic. So if we can establish upfront the most important things for you and get really clear on that, then that really helps me as I'm searching on your behalf as an agent to make sure that when I uh, uh, pre-screen and bring those properties to you and we do viewing days, then really we're starting from a base of this is even in the realm of realistic options. So say, for example, you need to have off-street um, off parking because you have a car. There's no point in me showing you a property that doesn't give you an off-street parking option, right? So it's really clear that that's important. But also, some people might say that they have to have a garden or might have to have a good-sized two bedrooms because although there's lots of two bedrooms out there, they're not, not all created equal. So it's really important we get clear on those three or four must-haves. And an agent who knows what they're doing could help you get clear on that up front. And it also is really helpful that when we do find those properties down the road that have those three or four must-haves, they might have some other things that you'll have to give up some other trade-offs. But again, if we're clear on those three or four must-haves, it makes it really easy to kind of dismiss things that don't work, but also focus on the things that we said from the beginning were important. Now, those can change over time, but the um, role of a good agent is to really make sure we keep uh, ourselves accountable on that process. The other thing an agent can really do for you is to give you the market information. Now, would you agree the more you know about a particular area or market, what's happening, the more empowered it's going to make you when it comes to making um, an informed decision, but also a really good offer. One of the things, again, when working with buyers, we make sure we help them understand is what are the dynamics. If it is a buyer's market, we know we probably are in a fairly strong position to negotiate, but it doesn't mean we should be unrealistic in terms of the offers we present. Because one thing I do know is those Good properties are selling regardless of what the market is. So if we've taken the time to find you that right property, then when we put together an offer, we want to make sure you have all the information you need to understand why we should go in with a really strong offer. And that actually reminds me, when we even um, start working with you as a buyer, let's be clear on what that budget is, what your, um, how much equity you're going to need, you've gotten all that financing together, you're really comfortable in terms of the budget that we can work with. And then that also helps when we go to make the offer, right? Because my job as an agent is to make sure I position and present you as a really strong buyer who is going to actually complete on the sale. In this market, in the UK, unfortunately, a lot of properties um, can get gazumped or you can fall out of bed over time. So if we have uh, the ability to present you as a strong buyer who knows what they're doing, who's working with an agent, who's invested in an agent, then sellers take that really seriously, as does the selling agent, because now they know that they're really negotiating and working with somebody who knows what they're doing. So that's something really important. And when we present that offer, we want to frame it such that the seller is going to give you the strongest consideration. I've sold properties on behalf of sellers. Sometimes sellers have taken a buyer who is not necessarily presented the highest offer if they um, are in the best position to complete. And if that's really important for a seller who's desperate to sell or has a chain and ready to buy their next property, then it's really important they're working with the buyer who can actually complete. And that also means helping you be prepared with having your solicitor, having your financing, having everything in place so that we're ready to go. The other key thing is just simplifying that whole process. When you go to start looking, navigating with dozens of agents is not a pleasant thing. And I work with so many buyers who started it on their own and have decided and given up and say, look, you know what? I'm a professional. My time is too busy. And that really is the question. What is your time worth? And do you want somebody who's living, breathing property every single day and walking the streets of London, as I say? Or do you want to have to take precious family time trying to even figure out how to start? So that's the role of a really good agent as well, is just simplifying the whole process. If you have any questions about and you're thinking about working with an agent and want to understand the value a good agent can bring, then please get in touch. That's Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Consultants powered by Keller Williams. And to make sure to like this video on YouTube and subscribe to my channel to get regular tips on the London property market. Bye for now.